Today I'm going to talk to you about general education and general education reform here at Penn State. $201 a month for 10 years. That's how much it would cost you if you took a 10-year loan out on the tuition you pay for general education. Now, I'm a philosophy professor, so anytime somebody starts talking about their education in purely financial terms, I get worried. And, but that's exactly what I plan to do with you for the next few minutes uh, here this afternoon. Because I'm going to try to make the argument that not only is $201 worth it, but if we do general education reform well, and more importantly, if you as students buy into the education that you're already buying, $201 a month for 10 years is actually, turns out to be a bargain. So let's look at the numbers. Four years, I'm talking now about Penn State in-state tuition, $64,000, a little bit over that, for total credits of 120 credits. We have a gen ed program that is about 45 credit, that is 45 credits at the, currently here at Penn State. So if you take that, you look at about 37, 38% of the credits that you take at Penn State are in general education. It is really the heart of your Penn State education. General education costs $24,135. And if you took a student loan out on that for 10 years, paid out over 12 months, $201 a month for 10 years. Now, there are a lot of things you could do for $201 a month. One thing you might think about doing is joining a gym. You'd probably be joining a very nice gym for $201 a month. And in fact, I bet you if you joined a gym for $201 a month, you would probably have access to some really good trainers. And I bet you if you were paying $201 a month for that gym membership, you would actually take advantage of those trainers. You would probably go into that gym and you would probably not start with asking, what are the lightest weights I could use to lift? What are the easiest classes I could take? You join the gym because you want a healthy body, you want to live a fulfilling life and a long life. Same with general education. Spending $201 a month for a gym membership is actually not a bad investment. Now, you could do other things. You could buy a car. You could pay off a car. Now, this car is not such a bad car, but the moment you drive that car off the lot, we all know that it starts depreciating in value, and the longer you drive it, the less valuable it's going to be. Precisely the opposite of your general education. The value of that increases with time. Of course, you could also spend $201 having wings over Happy Valley every day for a month. And if you did that, I'm not even going to comment on what kind of financial investment that is <laughs> or what it would do to your long-term health. The point I want to make here is that general education matters. And more importantly, the attitude you take toward general education matters. If you look at this graphic, many of you out there, I know, have the attitude on the left-hand side that it's a joke. Why am I spending so many credits on these courses that aren't even related to my major? They're too easy, or they're too hard, or they're too different. There's too many of them. They're too diverse. But what we need to do as a university, and I mean not just for the students, but also for us as faculty, is to take general education seriously as the heart of the Penn State education. We need to recognize that what it is designed to do is to educate well-rounded students, to give you a holistic education, to uh, integrate knowledge across various domains. It is designed to cultivate curiosity and to allow you to pursue courses that you wouldn't have otherwise taken. It is designed also to challenge the prejudices you come to higher education with, the things you've learned over the course of time, the things you think you know that you need to unlearn. And we, of course, have a good antidote for that in our friend Sam Richards and in the many other faculty who work so hard to unteach things that are impoverishing our relationships with one another. We also know that general education is important for employers. 
On the general education task force, we have been talking to a lot of employers. We met with a number of them in the fall. And of course, when we did that, we tweeted about it. And uh, what we learned from them is communication is critical. Uh, global understanding. They like to call these the soft skills. I, kind of, I think of them as the hardest skills uh, to develop, but they're called the th soft skills because they're not directly focused on training for a specific profession. But those are the skills that we teach in a good general education curriculum. The General Education Task Force has taken this as our mission statement. General education reform should encourage you students to take a more active role in your own education and to empower you to discover new knowledge and to make life better for others, for yourselves, and the wider world. A very noble goal, a very important goal, central to the mission of Penn State. Right now, we are talking about a general education uh, reform that involves three dimensions. And I say right now we're talking about that because we are having a conversation. And at the end of this talk, I am going to invite you and give you an opportunity to uh, participate in that conversation. We take this very seriously as part of the process, hearing the voices of faculty, the voices of students, the voices of parents and alums about general education. The first element of general education that we're focusing on is skills. Writing, speaking, quantitative skills, the very skills that employers say are so important, and the very skills that recruiters say are so important to them, and that is part of what made, uh, makes Penn State a very desirable place for, uh, for recruiters to come. I think it's not only because our students are down to earth and hardworking, but also because they've had excellent general education classes in, in communication, in effective writing, and particularly also in effective speaking. The second element of general education is exploration. College should be a time for you to explore something you've never taken before. It should be a chance for you to discover that domain of knowledge that you had no idea about, but it turned out to be a lifelong passion for you. It should be about exploration. And the third element, and this is the element we've been talking a lot about, is themes. Adding a themes component to the general education curriculum. Let me talk a second about what I mean by theme. A theme is an idea or concept that you look at over the course of time, over the course of a number of classes, from a variety of dis different disciplinary perspectives. The idea would be to integrate those perspectives into a uh, an understanding, a deeper understanding of that theme, an understanding of that theme with more texture. And that is the kind of uh, experience that will be very compelling when you go to a job interview and you talk to people, but not only about your major, but about how you took a theme in your general education curriculum and understood that theme from a geological perspective, let's say a theme like sustainability, from an ethical or philosophical perspective, from the perspective of finance or engineering. Every idea has texture to it, and we need to learn how to bring the virtues of the various disciplines to bear on those ideas. That is going to be what part of what sets you apart when you come to an employer and argue that you're the one who should be hired. Okay? So let's think about that number, $201 a month. How are you going to make that money worth it? You can even do that now with the curriculum that we have in place, which really does emphasize uh, flexibility and exploration. But you can decide right now with the curriculum that you have that you're going to decide to take a theme on. You're going to organize your curriculum in a specific way. And you are already, even without us doing anything on the curriculum, able to integrate themes into the course of your study. But we also need to recognize that as an institution, we need to build this into our curriculum, because it's going to be what separates us from, from others. It's going to be what separates you as students from others. It's going to be what makes $201 a real bargain when you get the job of your dreams and have a lifetime of earning to go along with it. Thank you.